Welcome GCSC Technology Integration YouTubers. Many of you have had a question about how to create a Google Doc and assign that to students through Canvas so the students could complete work on the activity you have created and send it back to you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Google Docs Cloud Assignment LTI. This LTI allows you to accomplish that very task. As you can see, I am in an example Canvas course. In order to create a Google Docs Cloud Assignment, I'm going to locate the module where I would like to place the assignment and I'm going to click the plus button. Alternatively, if you don't use modules within Canvas, you can complete the same operation by selecting the Assignments option in the course navigation. Once I have selected the module where I would like to place the assignment and I click the plus button, I will choose to add an assignment, then a new assignment. I must give the assignment a name. I'm going to call this Google Docs Cloud Example. Once I have typed the name, I click Add Item. After the item has been added, I can then click on that item to further edit. Once the screen loads, you will need to select Edit. From here, you can type instructions or any other information you need to pass along to students in the Rich Content Editor, provided, of course, that you can type instructions correctly. Next is the point value. You can assign a point value if you would like. You can group assignments. You can choose how you would like to display the grades. The important option here is the submission type. If you select the down arrow and then go to external tool, you will have the ability to find external tools. So you will click find, and I'm going to enlarge the screen so it's a little bit easier to see. And from the configure external tool option, which is what is showing right now, I will select Google Docs cloud assignment. Once I do that, my Google Drive will load, and I will need to select the file that I want students to load and complete. So it's important to know where the file is located, and obviously the more organized your Google Drive is, the easier it is going to be to locate that file. Once the file has been located, in this course mine is the Google Docs Cloud Assignment LTI, I'm going to click that and hit Submit. Once I do that, I will notice that a URL is in this box right here, and I'm now ready to finish this operation. If I check, check this option, the assignment will be loaded in a new tab. So you can select that option if you want, but I'm going to leave it as is and choose select. As I scroll down, I can choose a group to assign the document to, or I can choose everyone in the class. I can also choose a due date or when the assignment will be available from and until. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to leave that blank. I can also click save or save and publish. I'm going to go ahead and hit save and publish. And once I do that, I will see what the assignment looks like. I will see the title, the instructions, the link to the assignment, and a preview similar to what students will see. Please be aware that Student View will not work for this type of assignment due to the fact that a student has to authorize their Google Drive to be used, and you as a teacher have already authorized that, so you can't do it again as a student. I'm going to go back to Module View to verify that everything is set up the way that I would like, and I can see there's the Google Docs Cloud example. It's published, the module is published. Since Student View is not an option, I have logged in as a fictitious student in an incognito browser, and I'm going to jump over there and show you what that looks like. You can see that I am now in the incognito browser, logged in as a fictitious student. And if I click on the Google Docs Cloud example, I will see what students are going to see. And I have the title of the assignment, the instructions, a link to the assignment, and the ability to submit. I also have a preview. Notice that I can type directly in the preview, and I can then click Submit when I have finished the assignment. Obviously, this is incomplete, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and click Submit. As a teacher, you may be wondering what you will see once students hit the Submit button. If I go back to the tab where I am logged in as a teacher, I can click on the assignment. I can go to the Speed Grader. And I will see the work that students have completed. In this case, the fictitious student answered only one of the four questions. I would provide the appropriate assessment and any comments and then hit Submit. Hopefully, the Google Docs Cloud Assignment is a tool that will be useful for you and your students as is a powerful integration tool for connecting Google Docs and Canvas. Music